The protagonist of the story is a young woman named Jennifer, who performs a wonderful job working as a lawyer. They left after she talked about a case at that point. In the meantime, Jennifer pauses and informs those watching on video that she is She-Hulk. She transports people back in time to tell them the tale of how she came to be known as She-Hulk. She was traveling somewhere with her cousin Hulk when Bruce informed her that the healing of his war-injured hand. In my lab, I also created a device that prevents me from changing into the Hulk and keeps me in human clothing. While they were driving and conversing, a spaceship suddenly appeared in front of their vehicle. Jennifer is startled by it and loses control of the vehicle as a result, causing an accident. When Jennifer saw that Bruce was bleeding, she became frightened and touched him despite his orders to stop. She turns into the She-Hulk after Bruce's blood splashes on her, and rushes into the forest before fainting and falling. When she regains consciousness, she turns back into Jennifer. They now relocate from the wilderness to a hotel, where with the assistance of a few girls, they dress and get ready. They were about to leave when a few boys arrived and began making fun of them. Jennifer became enraged and transformed back into She-Hulk. Bruce shows up and takes her away. The following morning, when she awakens, she recognizes herself as Jennifer and goes to Bruce's lab while getting dressed. We are on an island, and this lab was given to me as a gift by Iron Man, says Bruce, who is dressed as the Smart Hulk at this moment. I spent many years learning how to control my Hulk attire, but right now all of my focus is on your training. Jennifer is determined to return to her former self at all costs, but Bruce is unable to help her. He had been living with this Hulk disguise for years. He advises her that in order to control her transformation into the Hulk, she must first learn to control her wrath. Jennifer, who was a lawyer and has just transformed into the Hulk, is already quite adept at doing this. She finds the thing that took him 25 years to control. Knowing this makes Bruce envious, but he cheers her up and assures her that training won't take long. When Jennifer awakens from her transformation into the Hulk, she is recognized as Jennifer. Due to this, Hulk awakens her while creating noise. In her rage, she transforms into She-Hulk, and her bed breaks. Later, he teaches Jennifer how to fight, but She-Hulk wants to return to her house while posing as Jennifer in order to lead a quiet and regular life. It will take time, according to Hulk, and you must remain here until I think you are ready to live among regular people. Jennifer's life altered in a single night, and as a result, she became depressed. Hulk begins by describing to her the advantages of having Hulk powers to lift her spirits. He claims that while it would be difficult for a normal person to consume so much beer at once, the Hulk can. After that, they consume a large amount of beer, and the following day, Jennifer was performing flawlessly throughout her training. Every time she wishes, she transforms into Jennifer and dons Hulk's costume, although Hulk takes years to accomplish this. We may conclude that Hulk's years of training have benefited Jennifer since, without Hulk, she would have had to put in a lot more effort. She was sick of being here and longs for her old life. Bruce was trying to make her understand, but they soon began arguing. Now that the Hulk and the She-Hulk have beautiful costumes, it is clear that they were in fierce competition with one another. Both the island and the beloved bar of Hulk are destroyed. Then, when She-Hulk is at ease, he asks her to fix his bar. Once it is fixed, She-Hulk lets Jennifer return. After presenting this story, Jennifer is once more shown in the following scene, moving to the court to argue her case. When a wicked girl with superpowers who was a villain arrived and began wreaking havoc, Jennifer had no choice but to transform into She-Hulk and save everyone while battling the enemy. She quickly gains notoriety when everyone learns about her Hulk costume. Even the news reported on her and how she turned into the She-Hulk to save everyone. Jennifer wasn't interested in anything because she doesn't want to become famous or a superhero. She continued to enjoy her prior modest life. She thinks that since superheroes labor hard and accomplish good deeds for no pay, their lives must be difficult. She then makes her way to the party that her friends had planned after she won the case and transformed into She-Hulk. Everyone was content when Jennifer's boss showed up and told them to change into Jennifer's She-Hulk attire because he needed to speak with them. Jennifer does this, which causes her to become unbalanced and fall. She was inebriated and failed to identify it in the Hulk's attire. Her boss claims that you have won the case, but the public believes you did it because you transformed into She-Hulk. They decided in your favor and this matter was concluded because you saved the judge's life. I am firing you because this is bad for our business. Jennifer is shocked to hear this, but she controls her shock and begins looking for a new career. She found this challenging because no one would hire a She-Hulk. She was sitting there feeling let down when her folks sent her a note. They call her tonight at dinner, and she is sitting with her father and lighting herself because her life has altered recently. She also claims that I wished I had left Bruce to pass away that day, perhaps then, everything would have been alright and I wouldn't have to go through all of this. After receiving support from her father, Jennifer decides to confront the issues with fresh optimism. Jennifer was in a pub when the executive of the business she was suing showed there. He invites Jennifer to his office and offers her a job. As she gets there, she learns that a new department is being established where she would have to deal with cases of superhuman individuals. These people are known as superhumans, and her profession requires her to wear the Hulk costume constantly. Jennifer remarks, seeing in the camera, 
why do I constantly have to accomplish the duty that I don't want to? Although we feel awful for Jennifer, we also find her predicament amusing. She was informed that the case for abomination, a fierce foe of Hulk, would be her first. He even attempted to murder Hulk and he was vanquished and imprisoned by the Hulk, but his sentence is now up. When he is released, there will be a lot of uproar, therefore Jennifer's boss urges her to defend his case in court to establish his innocence. Although Jennifer was reluctant to meet the abomination because of Bruce, her boss insisted that she do so. Jennifer visits Abomination in jail, and Abomination doesn't give himself a chance to show his innocence. He explains to Jennifer that he was a regular person who wanted to aid those with abilities, but due to a government experiment, he turned into an evil villain and Hulk became into a hero. Now that I've transformed, I want to live a quiet life. To do this, I need your assistance. After leaving while requesting some time to reflect, Jennifer makes a call to Hulk when she gets home and, after telling him everything, requests his permission to continue working on this case. The Hulk concurs because he believes that Abomination has changed for the better. Hearing this makes Jennifer feel fantastic. Jennifer phones her supervisor and tells him she is excited to start working on this case. As she watches TV after being instructed to do so by her boss, she notices that Abomination has escaped from prison and is engaged in combat. When Jennifer saw that he hadn't changed and was merely acting for her amusement, she moved angrily to confront Abomination, who had been detained once more. Jennifer gets upset with him and tells him, you lied to me and acted in front of me, but he claims that the chief, Wong, is a magician, and that is who forced him to do it. Jennifer contacts a friend to find out about Wong, and when she learns that he once worked in a library, she moves to meet Wong right away to find out why he asked Abomination to fight. According to reports about Jennifer, she is defending the wrong man and standing by him in court. Abomination, which poses a threat to the entire globe. Jennifer begins processing her case before Wong shows up and declares that Abomination is correct. Actually, I trained as a magician, therefore I brought Abomination to the club to test out my abilities. I fight him so I can control my abilities. She-Hulk warns Wong that because of this deed, Abomination won't be granted bail, however, if you claim in court that he is innocent and was only detained because of fighting, he might be released. After hearing this, Wong agrees and Abomination's case begins. The judges were on Abomination's side when he said, now I can control my Abomination get up. Even though he was in jail, he transforms into Abomination and shows them. Given this, the courts allow him bail but order him not to dress like the Abomination ever again. When Jennifer made her public debut after winning the lawsuit, the media wasn't kind to her. People were praising and criticizing her. One of Jennifer's old pals brings a complaint against his friend to the superhuman's office, claiming that because his friend is an elf, he isn't a human but rather a different animal. He tricked me, so I want to file a complaint against him. The following day, Jennifer assists her colleague in successfully arguing the elf's case. Then, after gathering the bravery, she finally appears on television and displays her She-Hulk costume to the public. Jennifer is attacked by a few people as she makes her way home at night, but she defends herself by transforming into the She-Hulk, in reality, they were attempting to inject her with a needle to draw blood. Afterward, Jennifer and her co-worker are shown smiling and dancing as they celebrate their success. Part 4 of She-Hulk has begun, and a magician appears. Everyone was growing weary of seeing his pointless magic as he put on his show and performed small magic tricks. He then summons a female from the audience just as he was ready to perform the show's grand magic trick for them. The girl's name was Medicine, and she was intoxicated and disoriented. The girl known as Medicine accidentally enters the portal after the magician opens it while wearing an odd ring. Then, a scene featuring Wong viewing his preferred program is presented. He appears to be enjoying it. In the meantime, as she switches to this road, Medicine arrives here. Wong queries her, did some magician skill you here through a portal? And she confirms that he sent her my way. I arrive here in an effort to save my life, and Wong queries what transpired there. She says, I offered six drops of blood to someone, and in exchange, he saved me from the scorching lava well. Hearing this, Wong is incensed and starts to look into the magician. In the scene with her father, he brings a few cameras, firearms, and a shovel to defend her. He claims that four guys attacked you last night as a result, and that I felt concerned and had to take action to ensure your safety. Jennifer informs her father, you know I am the She-Hulk, but like other people, you are unaware of my strength. Don't worry, I can take care of myself and will restore order. When Jennifer arrived at the office, she was speaking to a friend when the friend said, Jennifer, what's going on in your life? Do you not find your life to be boring? To kill your boredom, let me make an ID for you on a website. It is a website where people can connect and locate their life companion. In the meantime, Wong shows in and reports that a mad magician is using a portal illegally. It is unlawful, and I want to report such individuals so that these bad deeds can be put an end to. Humanity will be in peril if this does not prevent the entry of harmful animals and creatures into our environment. When Jennifer overhears this, she questions him, do you have any agreements, papers, or notices from the government? I can move forward because the judge won't even let us enter the courtroom if we appear before him without any documentation. 
Wang claims I don't have anything comparable, but I do have witnesses who can attest to the magician's involvement in all of this. He was about to go when Jennifer interrupted and said, give me your name and address at least this time. Through wizardry, Wang hands her a card and tells her to phone this number to get a hold of him right away. While in a bar in the evening, Jennifer and her companion were texting a lot of people to arrange meetings. No one was prepared to meet her, so her friend suggested she create a profile as the She-Hulk and see how others would respond. She says nothing and does nothing until the magician appears in his office with Wong and Jennifer present. They issue him a warning, telling him to refrain from using magic going forward because it could put the human world in grave risk without his knowledge. The magician refuses to comply with their orders and threatens to take them to court. Jennifer travels to meet a boy, but after meeting a lot of boys, she doesn't find someone that is similar to her. The witnesses are called the following day, and the judge informs them that if they don't have any evidence or witnesses, the case will be stopped at this point. Through magic, Wong summons medicine to the location, according to her, the magician has vanished while I have arrived at an unknown location. Since I made a promise to someone that I would keep it a secret and not tell anyone, I won't reveal it to you. The judge postponed the hearing until the next week because she was unable to understand anything. Jennifer changed her profile from Jennifer to She-Hulk since she was bored at home. The lads then begin sending her messages to meet She-Hulk, just as her friend had described. The girl prevents the magician from doing this and says, my friend whom you disappeared the last time didn't come back yet. The magician was about to vanish another girl via that portal when the audience saw him perform. You can't catch me for that reason. When the magician hears this, he opens a portal somewhere else. Everyone is shocked to witness the creature emerge from the egg as it begins to hatch. The beast then grew larger while the magician opened a second enormous gateway and attempted to lure her into. The magician believed that everything should be in order, but he was mistaken since numerous creatures similar to it emerge from the gateway into our world and begin wreaking havoc everywhere. Since Wong was a magician, the magician in question has no choice but to enlist his assistance. He dials Wong, who is forced to join the fight against his will. She Hulk crosses over to meet a boy, and this time, she encounters a lot of boys. How much weight can you lift? Few of them assert that we can lift a lot of weight at once. She claims to be able to lift one or two tons with ease, and she finally warms up to the doctor. He is taken home by She-Hulk, but before they can converse, Wong appears and tells Jennifer to hurry up and come with me because I need your help. Wong transports She-Hulk to the location where the creatures were wreaking havoc. Jennifer asks Wong what she needs to do as the animals continue to emerge from the portal one by one. Wong responds, I'll open another portal, and you have to toss them into another realm. The unique feature was that as they were annihilating the beast, its size grew. Wong creates a magical rope, wraps all the creatures in it, and casts them into the other realm. Then he closes the portal, and Jennifer arrives at her house to find the kid waiting for her. The youngster wonders, who is Jennifer? When he sees Jennifer in her actual attire the following morning, he then considers leaving because he only enjoyed She-Hulk there. In the meantime, a man knocks on her door to deliver a notice, which she opens to find was actually sent by a female. It was stated that I first settled on the name She-Hulk, thus this is who I am. With this name, I also have a registered profile. A case will be made against you since you stole my name. They were discussing various types of beers. As soon as the remaining episodes of the series become available, we will upload them. But until then, goodbye and thanks for watching. Click on another movie recap displayed on screen.